Speaking of teams that are going to underwhelm this season, my hottest take, I think, is that the Memphis Grizzlies are just going to straight up miss the playoffs. They're not going to be there. Man, and that's what wow. allows that is what allows the Portland Trailblazers to make it there. That is my hot take. The Grizzlies, this team got worse. That's not right, who I thought. So, I don't think that's not who I thought you were going to say. Who did you think I was going to say? <laughs> I thought you were going to say like uh, the the Clippers or something. Oh, I have the Clippers like in the finals, dude. Yeah. I, the I Memphis was, Grizzlies. I thought you were about to say something crazy about the Clippers. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> look, last look, John Morant's going to miss some games this year. He's injury prone. All right. Jaron Jackson is going to be out for the first couple weeks, couple months, like a month or two of the season. Uh, Jaron Jackson, like, had never played. He played 78 games last year, um, which is damn near all of them. That he had never played over 60 before that, and he's already out for significant time this season. So that's not going to happen again. They won on superior depth. All right, and now Kyle Anderson is gone. DeAnthony Melton is gone. Between the two of them, that is 3,000 minutes that they're going to replace with just straight-up rookies this year. They play, they win with depth. They win with intensity. Their depth is worse. Is their intense, are they going to be that intense in the regular season two years in a row? Are they going to be like the underdogs? Can they like adopt the met- that mentality two years in a row? Like, I just don't think they're going to be like, I don't think their supporting cast is good enough. I think it's going to regress. They're not a team that's going to have like a 90% win percentage in games that John misses this year when he does miss games for his assorted various tweets, you know, things in his legs because he lands on dunks like on his back and, you know, twisting his legs all around. He's just going to miss some games this year. Yeah. And I just don't think they have the depth to quite overcome that like they did last year. And, you know, Ja is a hot dark horse for MVP. And I love Ja. He is electric. He is so fun to watch. But I don't think he's in that range. I don't think he's up there with Jokic and Curry and Giannis and 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 Luca and, you know, Embiid and all these MVP candidates. He's like closer to the, you know, Kyrie, Trey Young, you know, Devin, but which is talk, nothing to shake a stick don't at. Don't talk about but, Trey like that. You know, but I I just don't think like his second star for most of this year is going to be like, or for much of this year, if, if, if Jaron Jackson Jr. is out, it's going to be like Desmond Bain. I, I, (laughs) I just don't think they have the horses to repeat what they did last year. And I could see them just not being even close to the regular season team that they were last year because of the, the, just the simple regression and how good the role players were and just how good they were without, you know, jaw, they were blowing the thunder up by seven. Like they had the biggest win in NBA history last year with, and you wouldn't expect the Grizzlies of all teams with the talent they had. And they, they didn't even play that game with John Morant. Like their depth was just, balling last year and i think they're gonna regress a little bit and i think they're gonna their their top players are injury prone and for my hottest take i think the grizzlies not only are gonna fall off in a big way but they're gonna be in the plans and that's where the trail that's who the trailblazers beat on their on their path to the uh that's how the season's shaking out i see it now uh they'll be in the plans the uh the uh trailblazers beat them and um yeah, they missed the playoffs. That's my take. I don't I That's probably don't have the guts to say that they wouldn't make the playoffs. But I don't hate this take because in terms of seeding, because they were the two seed last year, a lot of the West has gotten a lot better. So we're talking yes. about a Warriors team that was banged up last year. Now, granted, the Grizzlies were too. Warriors team was banged up last year. We had a Nuggets team that was basically so hurt that not like not even the real version of the Nuggets. Right. Clippers, not even the real version of the Clippers. Right. Then you've got Zion Williamson coming back. Timberwolves added a major piece. There. And yeah. you are starting the season without Jaron Jackson for a long time. So you and like you I may said, not the Trailblazers the, too are getting are basically getting right. Dame back for the entire season. Exactly. Like, so getting real you're getting Dame, Dame back too. I mean, how the, the Lakers, I think, are even more competitive than they were last year. Yes. So we're talking about a team that went through a very beat up Western Conference, and and, and now they've they've added, and I, I I I can see the vision. Now I do think they're a very well coached team. I think it's it's they are well coached. They've like I think it's not a hot take at all to say the Grizzlies are not gonna 
win under 50 games this year and they're gonna re- they're not gonna be the two seed again everyone would be like well yeah but then you take that like just even a, a step farther like okay they're gonna be in the plans then everyone's like, whoa whoa you can't like like right. it, it can be a little bit more drastic than that like things can change it's not always just little little oh they get slightly worse every team just gets a little bit better you know fortunes can change kind of on a dime and they had this window with and then they didn't they didn't add anybody you know like i i i it's a it's worst case scenario but it's it's in the that's what makes it a hot take that's what makes it a hot take right yeah so i I do think they're a very well coached team i still i still do think their depth is is not not maybe as bad as is made out to be and maybe zero williams takes a step uh, but they're definitely fighting a, an uphill battle to be a top six seed this year. It's a lot, a lot harder. There's a lot more serious teams in the West. Like four more teams are entirely different, basically, going right. into the season. Five or six, really. It's at least. So, yeah, I, I can see the vision. 